Salutations, welcome back to Duchat Day. Today we will be looking at the most doo doo primaries in Catalyst Black and suggest some balance changes to make them a little more worthwhile to use. So, first off, top five primaries you should never use. Colton, in Catalyst. you can't clickbait them once they've clicked on the video. They've what? already clicked on the video. No. You can't clickbait I'm them. I'm all backwards. We already got them. <laughs> okay, anyway, so let's start with. Probably what everyone considers to be the worst we primary weapons, the mortars, um, which are the uh, soft thunder and the, the orthoptic, orthoptic, orthoptic generator. They're both bad in similar ways. Um, they are unique if they were both good, but neither of them are good, so they're they're basically the same uh, in effectiveness. So, yeah, let's let's get off. So, let's let's just start with the the issues with them, which are pretty. Pretty easy to identify. The biggest problem is that if you are like passively healing from like, you can't even like outdo like they have so little damage that if someone is like shooting a shotgun that has Vanguard at like an NPC, they'll actually heal faster than they're taking damage and okay. on reverse die. So that's the problem. So we got it's that simple. Here. The only weapons that have worse sustained DPS are snipers, and as you all know, snipers can charge up. So the DPS isn't really the thing that's going for them, it's their burst damage. So they deal sustained DPS between 800 and in, 900. Yeah, eight, eight, well, 700 and... Between 800 and 900. I mean, it's, it's seven... Yeah. Se no, between 700 and 700. Oh, oh, I see. Wait, 700? Yeah, 700 and 700. Yeah, they do both deal about 700. <laughs> yeah, 750. And is that in your... That's, that's sustained DPS is including reload time. Can you it's... sort by first click DPS? Uh, yes, I can. Thank you, NKL, for this helpful weapon. So they... So even then... The soft thunder is now the lowest. While yeah. like with what what I mean by first clip is basically while you're shooting it without having to reload, that's your DPS. Yeah. And then if you factor in reloading, that's your sustained DPS. Both of them are, I mean, absolutely. It's a Can, thousand. Okay. How much? What's what's your overall sustained DPS on the soft thunder? On the soft thunder, overall yeah. sustained DPS, um, on the soft thunder is 747 and per what's second. What's the so on something low damaging like a sincerity? Uh, okay. Sincerity is in line 13. Sincerity is 1,374 I mean, so even a second. gun that isn't known for dealing, like, just an average normal gun that you shoot with does about double the damage. The facade yeah. has higher... The facade, which is a supportive weapon, slows enemy has higher damage. Yeah. So, okay. Just on the face of it, when you ignore everything else, that's why they're pointless, because they just yeah. do no damage. So and then on top of that, okay, so the reason why the facade is good is because it is great support, and it gets... If they're in range, you guaranteed hit them. Yeah, yeah. You cannot you miss. You can't miss, like, it's... But with the... Yeah, it is, another it's factor. Like high mortar, risk. Yeah, mortars, so any Low last risk. rate mortars, because they don't impact enemies, they almost never deal full damage. Because it, in the center, they deal full damage, and then the damage falls off as you aim away. So that's more like... They more do, like, if it's doing 700 DPS, more like 600 or 500. It's like, not, they just deal no damage. So... It's it's not like a complicated issue. They just do no damage. Yeah, yeah. So obviously the proposed benefit, and they should they should never be topping the damage chart. But the proposed hypothetical benefit is that you can fire over walls, um, that n which no other gun can do. Rocket launchers can blast you through walls, but it's not quite the same. Uh, um, and they both have pretty average range. The range isn't. It's like fine high ish yeah it's, it's um on the higher not even like it's 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 basically it's longer than smgs and shotguns and then it's about the same as sort of ars and battle rifles and stuff yeah. it's in that area um so so the range part isn't getting you the same type of range that sniper rifles have yeah the main advantage is the fact that you can shoot over walls but you're dealing less consistent damage in the facade yeah like, the damage is not enough to kill anyone unless they're super squishy and have no healing so what i think they could do to buy, I mean, so this is a simple way. You could probably give them like 50% more damage than they do now, and they'd be like pretty decent. But I think the issue they have right now that would be really annoying if they did that is right now they kind of, um, especially the Soft Thunder, they travel really quick. And while you, they do definitely do miss, like you have to aim them, and they're kind of hard to hit if enemies are up close and moving around. Um, 
they kind of fire so quickly and consistently that if they were able to kill you, I think it might be frustrating. Say if they if they did in like as much damage as like an AR, it would just be like killing you over a wall and you just like wouldn't have too much option to escape. And I don't think it would be super like fun. You wouldn't feel like you're pulling off anything super cool. I think that one option is they could buff the damage, but I would say 50%. And then I think they'd be decent. Yeah. But I think what would be a better option is to make them travel slower so they're harder to hit yeah and they could adjust blast radius or whatever but i think they could travel slower and fire slower so instead of being you know fire more like a rocket launcher speed um rather than kind of just like constantly like just like shooting super, like more like the rush um and then have them deal more damage so it could be sort of a higher risk high reward in terms of like you aim your shot you land a good shot and you deal good damage not like no zero damage versus right now they just kind of poke at you I think that would probably be a better direction for rock, for mortars to go. Yeah, I agree. Um, I don't think there's much much nuance when it comes to the mortars. Oh, other issue, they're both primal hunter. They which are is both annoying. primal hunter. Ma- I think there's a lot of banners that could be really fun with Here's mortars. Here's the thing. In, in, like, concept, I guess mortars might be good. I just don't see why they're both primal hunter. I don't think they're primal hunter because they're meant to be good against primals. I think they're primal hunter because, like, primal hunter weapons are, like, the AoE blasting weapons usually. Um, but for why? That's just how th- I just think it makes. Yeah. That's how they want to balance yeah. it, um, which is Imagine fine. A ranger mortar, but yeah, I think cool. a ranger mortar could be cool. A seeker mortar could be cool. We have the demoloon, a primary seeker mortar. Um, I mean, those are really the ones: seeker, ranger, sniper mortar, or something like that. Could all sniper be cool. mortar would be very funny. Um, but either way, them being primal hunter is just another annoying thing because they're not especially good for hunting primals, and then they're like, you don't get other primal benefits that could help you. Yeah. So, and just a slight. Uh, other slight thing I mean this isn't really necessarily a problem but on top of that they just have like the most like they literally do not yeah, help they you generate get- like zero primal yeah. so where something let's compare it again to the sincerity uh, which even the sincerity which is near the bottom with them gets you 0.4 every primal every second and the soft the orthoptic thunder. generator gets 0.1 so the sincer- the sincerity is the lowest primal generation item besides the mortars and it's still double what the mortars get. Yeah. So they get double. you zero primal. Yeah. Uh, and and to compare it to like something that actually gets decent primal, like the Northern Warmth, that gets you two primal per second, um, which is like quadruple. It's just infinitely more. So yeah. like very, st- very. That's just another thing. It's super that's ridiculous. Another way why they're bad. Um, uh, but anyway, let's move on from the primals. I think everyone gets the the, the reason why the um the mortars are bad. Yeah, they do nothing. Um, they do nothing. <laughs> they are bad. They are garbage. Uh, next gun, um, which is a little more difficult to, uh, make better, um, is the, um, the Tetrad, which used to be, when it was released, it was, it was meh, and then they added the infusion perk, and then it was, went super power mode, and then they nerfed the infusion perk, and now it's kind of meh again, and there's no reason really to use it, as opposed to, like, the other, um, ARs. I mean, for one, uh, isn't it battle rifles? The burst BRs, sorry. Yeah, so burst rifles overall are not very popular in general at the moment. Um, they're good all around weapons, but they're definitely not the best weapons in most situations. So that doesn't help. And then it's the worst of the um, of the battle. battle rifles compared to the sincerity and the um, even if you're just comparing it, the, the commotion. The even commotion. if you're just comparing it within its banner. Uh, there's not really the only reason you'd, uni- you'd use it before, um, as opposed to the commotion, is its range and its infusion burp was crazy. But it had way more range. Right it now, had, it had the, range. yeah, the issue now, is, it, is it if what's its DPS in comparison to the commotion? So it's sustained okay. DPS. Uh, sustained DPS. All right, so the commotion has 1,472 sustained DPS, so it's factoring in reload time, and the tetrad has 1,180. I mean, that's two. significantly... Not factoring in... That's two. significantly lower. Yes. Um, and then the kind of issue... I don't think the commotion's even especially good. No. And then the issue you run into is it's a kind of a worse version of the commotion. Its range is, like, slightly better, but it's not... Um, is it? Pretty sure it's exactly I can pull it up. I'm pretty sure it's a little more. It's... I know it's less than the sincerity. Now, here's the thing. The benefit of the weapon is it's supposed to be that it has this four-shot burst. Um, oh, wait. We're stupid. The range of stats are right here. Um, yeah, so, so the, the Tetrad's range is 10 
10.3. 10.3. And the commotion is, is also... also 10.3. And but is the sincerity sure, also 10.3? But I'm pretty sure this is... This the sincerity is, actually has more. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, sincerity is 11.1. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't have a range benefit. It, it doesn't have a DPS benefit unless you're shooting enemies who are super low HP. Or you have the infusion... My issue with the gun cars. is it seems like it's supposed to be this, like, cool gun that does something different. And the difference is that it fires four shots every time you shoot it. But that doesn't really do anything if they adjust the bullets to where your burst is still like lower damage than the other guns. Here's what I, I, I'm always in favor of making items more unique so there's at least a fun reason to use it even if they're not the best. So what would you say would make it more unique? They obviously well, used to ha give it good range but that isn't the case anymore. I would it say has a unique infusion perk. It does have a unique infusion perk. I would say, well I've always been in support of giving it more range because I've always liked it being like a sniper type of um, AR. Yeah. But I would suggest to make it more unique is to kind of, it's kind of a similar thing with the um, the mortars, is to make it more high risk, high reward. So it's 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 burst does more damage like overall than the other Like burst. a four bullet. Yeah. yeah, the four bullet, if you hit all four bullets, it'll, it can do a good bit more damage than the other ARs. But maybe it can fire slower or something like that. Something to make it so like it's 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 different in yeah, that. The with the commotion, you just kind of hold auto aim and like run at people. I wonder. So this, I mean, they could just make it so it fires slower, has a lower rate rate of fire, maybe a higher reload on its clip, and then make each like make its base damage way higher. Yeah. So if you if you're hitting your shots, it'll have good DPS. Here's a crazy idea. What? what if they made it fire like as slow as like, um rocket launchers and then made it drag and release i think that would that be, would be cool. crazy and cool and I would, unique and then and like, i would like that i think that'd be awesome that would be but either way I, they need to do something to make it more unique it has a unique infusion perk so there's certain situations where like theoretically if you like run at someone and then you like shotgun them and then you shoot so you get them on like half hp and then you shoot it it's gonna do more damage than other stuff with its infusion perk because it deals more damage to enemies based on how much health they're missing um which could be cool but I just think the item needs to be improved and made given its own kind of niche as either for whatever reason. Yeah. Whatever its niche is meant to be. Yeah. And and feel different. Right now it just feels like a worse version of the other guns yeah. in the same category. Okay. Okay. And then our final uh, weapons that we'll be looking at for our doo-doo primaries is right all the way here at the bottom. The the Prodigal and the Luma Prodigal. And these Especially are, these the Luma are, Prodigal. These are functionally... The same weapon. They, they they do the same thing basically, but the Luma Prodigal is basically like a skin that has different. Well, Luma Prodigal has eighteen range compared to range. It has eighteen. Oh, what? Compared to the it has eighteen the range. sixteen range of the Prodigal. The they do different things, but both of them suffer from the same kind of problems. Yes. So the the main problems is um, the meta right now, which is like kind of um uh like assassiny get onto you. Um, and also things that help you survive, like, um, like, uh, uh, I almost said Kinter's class, but that wasn't, that's not it. Um, the Clemency Vial, um, the Horn of Supremacy, and even Compass of Ascendant all really stymie the Luma Prodigal, especially if they dash on top of you and start shooting you with the alien. Yeah. It's, and then the other thing is they don't have a lot of tools. So they used to be, the snipers used to be very good because... They had this this little this little gold ability called Grounding Bolt, and Grounding Bolt had two. Tr it was like it was like a primal fire, but it slowed, it slowed enemies. enemies and it was very easy to hit. It was very, and it had two charges. I yeah. Uh, I think the main issue is there's two issues. For one, the Lumen Prodigal and the Prodigal um, have don't have good items to combine with them. The sniper passive, the only really useful passive kind of for their play style is the, um, what's it called? The, um, Brace of Dedication? Uh, yes. And then the other sniper passive is a little awkward and doesn't really work well. And then the problem is really using passives that give you more damage, like Nihilium Guard, Brace of Dedication, um, the one that gives more damage in a bush, Ryland's Grace. Yeah, None of these are really worth it. They're never gonna outclass, like, when you're fighting someone with, like, um, the Horn of Supremacy. Yeah, so that's one issue, is there's no, there aren't good items to combine with it. The other item is the Sniper, um, ability, Bills. which, if you're kind of playing safe and trying to, like, nail enemies from far away, it, it, it doesn't help you so unless they get sniper close. Sniper ability is, is Frost, Frost Nova, Nova know. which doesn't help you that much, so that's an issue. And then, as far as heavy weapons... Um, you kind of want to use a sniper heavy weapon with them because you want to get as much your sniper banner up. That's super important. 
because you're playing from long range with these weapons. But then your best and only option is the objection. And then the objection is basically a better version of your primary when you use that. Yeah, the only reason, the only good way to use the objection with the prodigals is with its infusion perk, which what its infusion perk does is when you hit an enemy, you get a very just microscopic barrier, but you get an extra roll charge, so you can kind of use it to get away if you just like quickly No, I mean, you definitely it. can. And, and I like to use these builds, and they're fun to use, where it's like you can use the objection, you can use like power infusion... Um, Frost Nova, or Power, the Objection, Power Infusion, Brace of Dedication, and the Normal Prodigal. And your Normal Prodigal will, like, hit pretty hard and whatever, but you're so immobile, um, because you're charging up shots that you have to basically, like, play super safe and go for, like, these individual single shots that if they miss, you've done nothing. And then you have people who basically have the similar range with you if they're running around with a Primal Eye or a, um, a, tra uh, what is it called? The Rocket Launcher. Which one? The... The trial. trial? Yeah, basically, if, if people are running around, if they're using long range stuff, they can use the primal eye or the, or the trial, and they can just run around auto tapping at you. They don't have to stay still because they're charging up, and they can just kill you. So that's long range people killing you. And then otherwise, people are using SMGs and shotguns and protection abilities and movement abilities, and they can kill you. And so, like, and then if that's not the case, people are using knock, and there's no way for you to survive against a knock, he'll kill you. And if that's not the case, they're using Isia, who has, like, the same range as you. So you can't, like, damage her without her hitting you. And it's, like, there's, like, the only situation where you're doing well is if, is if there's, like, a Torden or someone using, like, an AR build that doesn't have movement and you can, like, stay away from them and they can't, like, catch up to you or get you. But even then... But, yeah, but even then they can maneuver faster than you can because they have yeah. the, like, 15% movement speed well, from... Well, that's the BRs, from which, the, which they don't have... Oh, 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 oh. But, oh, yeah, it is good against... It is good against the, ARs. like, assault rifles, like, sincerities. And then... Or people are, are in a group and you can only hit one of them because you have single shot damage and your actual DPS is very low. So there's like a million reasons. Like, like the, so it's not, the thing is, it's not great on your own. And the only time it's good is, is in a team fight. And if you're in a team fight, you'll always be choosing the trial or the, or or the, the rush, rush or whatever. Even. Or yeah. Or the primal eye to get primal. Like I, you'll, you're, yeah. if you're, yeah. It's, it's it just bad. doesn't really work out. I think they are, I think these guns, okay, for the Luma one definitely is a buff. Because its infusion perk is much worse than the prodigal, which kind of gets carried by its infusion perk, and then, yeah, it's just like worse. The eight, it, this, it's fun. I like the builds. You're like, but but I think um, you could probably increase the prodigal's range to like se seventeen and add some items to work better with like the charging up sniper play style, not just this tapping with the primal eye, um, because none of the items really work. And then the Luma Prodigal just needs to be better. Because right now it's like too slow to fire and doesn't do enough damage to really so, be worth. So I want to pitch my big brain ability idea. Yeah. Which I was very smart when I came up with it. So we were trying to bring, think of um, new abilities that would help snipers, but not help. Like there'd be sniper banner and then help snipers, but they wouldn't help um, like dive builds. And the issue we came to is a lot of the things that the that snipers need, like getaway stuff, things to get away, can also be used to... I mean, the current best speed. item, if you want to escape with snipers, is Blink, and Blink's pretty good. Yeah. Um, but but I, with how fast and, like, tanky tanky builds are, I don't see a lot of people playing, like, the Blink escape builds anymore, because, like, you blink away, and the guy just, like, runs off to do something else, and, and or, or gets the objective, because you blinked away, yeah. and then you still can't really do a whole lot. So, the ability I came up with, which is going to be Sniper Banner, um, is called Shadow Step. Still workshopping on the name, but, um, what do you do? What, what do you do is, um, you, when you activate it, you become invulnerable, and you can't shoot anything. You like you, you're basically like stasis, but you can move around, and you're like a good bit faster. Um, you, you, I don't know, like 25% move speed or like 50% move speed. Um, and it lasts for like three seconds unless you let go of the ability. Um, and when you come out of your ability, there is going to be like a one second delay from the point when you come out from the point when you can fire. So if you're using this with a dive build. It's not going to work very well because you're going to shadow onto them and then you it's going to take a second before you can shoot. So the whole point of this ability is you can kind of like play a more aggressive angle than you usually would be able to do with snipers and then be able to just just run away very fast. But it's the way it's designed is it'll only be useful with snipers, long range weapons. You know, it, you can't use it to go in. You can only use it to get away. 
Yeah. Um, I think there definitely needs to be either a way to get away with these with some type of sniper ability, or to increase your like kill potency with the sniper ability. Um, you know, it could be like an ability where your shots for a brief period like pierce through enemies or something like that. That's Just something cool. that makes sense to use with the charge up sniper rifles. I think most of the items right now don't work well with charging up snipers, but do work well yeah. with like the tr you know running around with a trial or a primal eye. But anyway, so yeah, that's I think yeah. the issue with this charge up snipers but those are really the worst of the worst primaries yeah. primaries when it comes to um catalyst black all the other primaries in my experience are very usable they're fun to use maybe not all of them are meta but they're all they're all very yeah fun i mean if even if you look at this list it really is just comes down to dps in some cases yeah, it's, <laughs> if you look at the bottom every single just, item we have if you don't look at the facade or the primal eye. The facade yeah. or the primal eye it's the Tetra 15th, get, once, the Optic Generator, yeah. Soft Thunder, l the Prodigal Luma Primal. They're the yeah. The only reason those other items can get away with having such low DPS is the Facade supports your team. You, you missed the Tetra, it's one up. The Facade supports your team. The Primal Eye gets you Primal and is otherwise, you know, super flexible and like lets you yeah. run around and shoot people. Um, but the other items don't have anything redeeming qualities for them so if, if you're a new player and you got you got the coin for a legendary weapon and the tetrad looks cool and it shows up in your shop do not purchase it is too much it money. is it is too bad it is too mine's much super cheap. infused i used to <laughs> way back in the day <laughs> yeah but it's not good it was stuff. not a good investment but hopefully they buff it hopefully it'll be fun to use again hopefully they make it a little more unique um and yeah uh let us know what you think in the comments i hope you i mean overall most of the items are pretty decent if you look yeah. if you look at this if you look at this it's I about mean, a like, third of the items this is pretty good like like balance wise this is pretty good the yeah. only issue is like they're kind of better right now versions. the trial is like, crazy like, if you're if you're choosing a shotgun you're pretty much always going to choose the borson if you're using a rocket launcher you're always going to choose the trial um, I think the two SMGs are actually the two SMGs are pretty, pretty interchangeable. Though the ethanol is, I think, better. The in, yeah, overall. Uh, um, and then the the ARs are also have good trade offs. The caretaker versus the loss. But the but, issue is like if you're playing in like really good builds, you're probably not going to use the AR like at no, all. Um, no, probably not. But yeah, um, I hope you found this video interesting. Let me know your thoughts on the primaries and what they what you're looking forward to and uh, what you're hoping they'll do in zero point. 23 when that comes out comment your favorite primary yeah comment your favorite primary and least favorite primary all right we want to see those comments coming in get that engagement in there um did i do it did i click you them? did yeah you click baited them yes. good job you got them all right i hope you enjoyed uh thanks for watching and most of all i hope you have a fantastic do day